A drive-by shooting on Indy's near northwest side that left two people, including a child injured, is now under investigation. It happened around 5 p.m. near North Harding and Roach. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli was at the scene and shares what we've learned as police work to find the person responsible. It's like we're in a war among each other. Early Sunday evening, gunfire from a passing vehicle struck two people in the area of North Harding and Roach Streets, both believed to be innocent bystanders. It hurts us that, that you know, we do have another child in an incident like that. It always will because we have children, we have family members as well. Police say a boy sitting in the back of a vehicle was shot. The second victim, a man riding his bicycle. When officers arrived, they found the man in the road and used a tourniquet from the trauma kits kept in officers' vehicles to help stop the bleeding. When they see a wound, they can go ahead and take care of that and tourniquet it to keep person from bleeding out. Because a lot of cases, you know, people may bleed out if we didn't have the tourniquets. The child suffered a graze wound. Both were taken to the hospital for treatment of their injuries. Everybody seems to not think about what they're doing with this gun. A gun is, a gun don't shoot people, people shoot people. A mural depicting a child surrounded by educational opportunities and a trampoline full of children both sit a stone's throw away from where this child and man were shot. Boy, and local clergy member it? Reverend oh, James Black says enough is enough. The way it's going on now, we are hurting very, very bad. We need our people to come together. Black says he understands the pain the violent crime and homicides are causing families across Indy, not only from his conversations through his work in the community, but also firsthand experience. It has a, a very big impact. Uh, it has an impact on my family right now as well, because I lost a family member last Saturday. Black says in order to make change and get answers, people need to speak up, especially after this was the second child shot in less than two weeks. We need the neighborhoods to come together. Don't sit in your house and look outside and see crime and not say anything. You see something, say something. Reporting on the near northwest side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. IMPD has not released any information on the vehicle or a suspect description. Now, they do say they were able to speak to people on the scene, but they need anyone who saw anything to call police or Crime Stoppers. That number, 262 TIPS.